Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here and welcome back to another episode of the Purge SMP server. Now, it is the fourth episode today and today we're just going to be doing a bit of grinding, a bit of prep work, working on our base still, continuing on all the work. We're using Faithful today. Now, I generally don't use texture packs. A while ago, I was using a different texture packs every video. I wanted to showcase texture packs for all of you guys and just let you guys see a lot of awesome new looks for Minecraft. But I've decided that for Theta, I want to stick to certain texture packs, and I want to stick to texture packs that really change how all of Minecraft looks. I want to stick to texture packs like Faithful, which is, if we go into resource packs, what I'm using now is the Faithful edit. So using this, it gives Minecraft vanilla, like the default look, more of a refined look, I guess you could say. And that's kind of what I'm going for with the series, is I want it to be a survival series first. I want to be able to focus on survival and surviving and all that stuff and not really have to worry about all the other aspects of the game. Let me see. Hang on. What we got going here? We got our clouds on today. It's looking very Minecrafty. I'm liking it. So today I just got back from taking midterms. So I figured I really don't want to stress myself out with a series like SG or something like that where it's going to take me multiple attempts to get the video and I might not even get it, like it ultimately depends. So what I decided was we're going to record a little Theta today. This is the fourth episode of Theta, which means we're well on track to getting ourselves established. Now, one of the things that I figured I would mention to you guys is that the base is coming along nicely. We're going to head back to the base in a second and I'm going to update you guys with what's been happening, but we're going to firstly... Are there any saplings of this tree dropping? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to replant all these trees here just so they regrow. So we got some good some good planting going on. Where did this guy come from? I believe he was here. Yeah, another tree here. And there's one there that we'll get in a second. Oh, got you here. And then you as well can be replanted there. But yeah, we're working hard. We're working hard. I'm very excited for all the cool stuff that we're doing on the server right now. A lot of people are focusing on spawn, building up spawn, getting buildings and shops set up with me personally. I'm just kind of working on my base. I want to get a place, a base of operations set up. And that's what I really want to do in these episodes is kind of get a base set up. Also, as you can see, I've got full gold armor. I found it off mobs. I was killing a ton of mobs and I started accumulating armor. So I figured, okay, Let's just build this. Also, we're right by Sansu's tree. I realize that's our base. As you can see, I've done some work on it. And that's Sansu's base. I think this might still be his base. I'm not sure if he if he maybe moved or something. We'll have to see. But we're going to back to my base. And I'm going to show you guys what I've done so far. So I've made a bit of progress since the previous episode. If we go back over here, as you can see, obviously, I finally have armor, which is really nice. And if we head over here, I did some mining in the previous episode. And what I got for myself was I got a couple more diamonds, I got some iron, got all that cool stuff, I just worked hard. I've set up a miniature sugarcane farm that we're going to just begin spreading around here, and every time this kind of grows, I'll expand it a bit more. I'm going to be using that to get paper and sugar and all that stuff. The farm is coming along nicely. Every time I come over here now, there's generally a couple more saplings to grab. Now, here's my problem with the house right now. From the outside... It really doesn't look that good from the door. Now, I put the door on this side for now. I might change it. I'm not 100% sure with where the door is placed and everything, but this is where the door is right now. But if we head inside, I'm liking how we're going so far. So we're going to make... Oh, hang on. We're going to make eight of these into oak wood planks, and we're just going to work on the roof. So from the inside, also, this is going to be multiple floors, so the second floor is going to be oak wood. So I'm liking how the house is coming so far. The interior, I really like the design. I may do something with this part here, but... As a whole, the main interior, I'm loving the design of the house. I think it's going to be cool. Now, my goals for the house is I want it to be a very... I want it to be more about functionality than looks. That's kind of what I'm going for. We can make a little more. Also, the dog is barking, so I might have to go figure out what that is. But it's going to be mainly about functionality over looks. So I'm going to try to make it look good as good as possible. But besides that... It's mainly going to be focused on how the house looks. Now, I'm going to take a pause quickly just to go see what the dog is barking about. We will be right back. Alrighty, guys, we are back. I apologize for that. He was barking at two people that were walking at the top of my street, and they had a dog, so he was going crazy. But like I was saying before, the house is mainly going to be about functionality over looks. Obviously, I don't want it to look terrible, so I'm going to work really hard to just make it look as good as possible, but... Other than that, it's going to be mainly about functionality. So now that we have that done, we've got our our main floor done. Well, my plan is, after we store this... Also, here's the stuff I've accumulated. We can actually make some more wheat. 
I'm kind of running low on food right now, as you guys can see. Like, I'm living bread to bread. But a few ideas that I've had is mainly that we're going to make, if we can find... Can you make... I don't know enough about 1.8. Can you make diorite stairs? I feel like that should be a thing. I feel like diorite stairs would be really cool for survival. I don't know, but apparently Mojang doesn't agree with me. What we're going to do is since we're leading up into... What's it called? Wood. We're going to make wood stairs for the sucker. So we're going to make... I don't know how many we're going to need. Let me see. How many does this give you? Six? That gives you four. So we can make eight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build a little stairwell up. I think I want to put it on this wall here. So if we tear away at the wall, if we're going to have it go up, I believe it's got to be going to go one, two, here. So that's where it's got to start. It's going to go like this. Like that? Yeah, perfect. So then we can go up. Nice. Okay, so now we have access to the roof. And as we can see, we're actually going to go ahead and sleep real quick. But we have access to the roof now, which is nice. So we've already made a bit of progress. I might... Here, I'm going to try something quickly. What I might do is just for... um, Actually, also, yeah, no one's on the server right now. But just for aesthetic purposes, what we're going to do is I want to take a bunch of this wood. I want to make it into some sticks. How do you make... Is it like this or is this a gate? It's the alternate. Okay. So what we need is we need a bunch more of these... Probably not that many, but we'll split it like this. And then like that, that makes stairs. We're going to need, let's try, let's just grab six for now. And then what we're going to do, so I want to see how this looks. So if I put one here, I want to get it like that. That's how I want it to look, like that. I don't know if that, does that look good at all? Is that, does that look decent? Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think of that? I'm just trying to make this place look nice. Like I want the stairs to kind of feel like they have some backing to them. So they are not just like, floating stairs. I want them to be connected to the wall in some sort of way. So I think that looks good. Also, how does this look from this side? You know, it doesn't look too bad. We might make some adjustments to it in the future, but it's definitely not looking that bad. So let's grab some of the sugar cane here. Just plant it all along the coast here. It's looking good. We're getting established, which is really nice. So that's what I've been up to on the server as of late. Just working on the base. Actually, what I also want to do, how does this look for contrast? We're going to have to make we're going to have to make two of them. So if I put, how does that look in comparison? I mean, they work, obviously. I kind of want them to be flush with the, like, this is the kind of style we got going here. So as you can see, we got the stone flooring and the stone walling going along with the wood roof and the wood doors and pressure plates. Obviously, we're not going to have pressure plates out here because we don't want mobs to be able to get in. So that's why that is there. And then the reason also that this is like this is... If you put two doors together and try to exit through, like, using one of these pressure pads and you leave, sometimes you'll trip one of the pressure pads. And then if you've got, like, a double door here and a pressure pad here, for example, we do, let's grab this. If we do this, and you had two doors here, you walk across it, you might not trip one of the pressure pads and one of the doors may end up getting caught open. It stays open, mobs get in, creepers get in, the whole place blows up. So that's what we're trying to avoid here, mainly. So now that we got that done, what we're also going to do is where are my stone bricks and glass panes? That is okay. So what we're gonna do is I just kind of want to quickly map out a bit of the roofing here. So areas in which we can put glass are in between. Where's that? Right there. That's the area in between. Is that is that the glass part? Yeah. No. 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 This is the area where we can put glass on the roof. So here is my idea for the roof. Now I've had a couple thoughts about this and. My first idea was I wanted to look really nice. I wanted to, I've got a design in my head where there's going to be an overhang of stairs going along the side of the house. But my question is, and we can also extend this because we know where this needs to go. That ends there. And then this is where the stone brick will go. We're out of stone brick right now. I'm going to have to go gather some more from my quarry in there. But what I've debated on doing is, I'll show you guys the finish, is using these as balconies. So using the glass paints as balconies, leaving this as an open roof working on some sort of design along the sides here, like maybe some kind of, um, what are those called? A roof, obviously, like a, like the inclined roofs using stairs. That's what I kind of want to do along the sides. Maybe incorporate some design into this pillar here. I'm not sure. Bunch of ideas I've been having right now, and I need your opinion, I need your opinions on all of them. So grab the torches. I want to see how this looks. So we put this here. So it lights that up. And I want to put torches along all the spots that don't have glass. So, like here, in between the glass panes, is stone brick and then the torch. I think that could look really cool. 
And then in between here, when we have the stone brick here, we'll have one here and one here in between here. We could actually... Like, here's my thinking behind this. We could have glass go all around and only have it interfere in certain spots. We're going to need to make more glass, though. That's my idea behind it right now. I don't know. I think that could look pretty neat. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear all of your thoughts. This is what I'm thinking about. Like that. And then we have another stone brick there. And then it goes along like so. And then it connects again. Like that. Those are my thoughts. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. We're going to end off today's episode here. 10 minute episode. Pretty decent. I like this episode. Let me know what you guys think of the design of the house, the balcony, all that cool stuff. And as always, I've been Linky. And we'll see you all in the next video. Peace.